This is the air intake or the bat wing. Um, so the MAF sensor is actually here. This is the connection for it. It's actually plastic welded into this piece. These two are exactly the same. So the part numbers, um, which is there. And if I lift this up on this side, it's the same part number. However, the Mercedes will not sell this separately. They want to sell this whole thing as one piece. And here's the part number for my car. The only issue is they wanted to charge 3,000 Australian dollars for it. I found a supplier who will get a genuine one from Germany for 1,800. But before I do that, I want to clean the math sensor and see if I can fix the problem. Now this, the code says it's the right side. So I don't know if it's the right side while you're sitting in the car or the right side when you're standing in front of the car and looking into the car. So I'll just clean both and see how I go. Now, unfortunately, if I look in here, it's a little bit dark, but the, the actual element is facing on this side. Um, so that means I have to try to remove this piece. So there's a rigid plastic piece here that holds it in place. So I'll try to, to do that now with a little plastic pry tool. Now this is hot, um, so it's a little bit flexible, and I'll try to open it. Okay, I've managed to separate the pieces, but I broke this while doing it. Um, oh well, I guess I'll just glue it back um, before installing. So I'm just gonna spray the MAF sensor part with this uh, liquid moly airflow sensor. Okay, so I've spray cleaned it, but as you can see, the element is actually inside this plastic housing. There's, there's a little hole where I guess the airflow goes into the element, but you can't spray directly on the sensor, so I don't hold very high hope on cleaning this sensor. I think I'll have to buy the whole unit again. Okay, so that wasn't a very successful um, attempt. So not only did I break this bit, but while reinstalling it, I actually broke this collar. So it looks like I'm gonna have to buy this whole piece. Isn't that crazy? They could have just made this a screw-in math sensor. They chose not to do that. It's plastic welded in, so you, there's no chance of getting it out. And you can't even buy this piece by itself. And I guess if you did, you're gonna have hell of a hard time putting it into this piece, because this is just plastic collar. And as I was putting it in, it just snapped. Okay, so I've had to put the um, old bat wing back and I've used Tommy tape or one of those silicon high temperature self-using tape just while I'm waiting for the new part to arrive. It should take about two weeks to arrive. So the mass airflow sensor have arrived. I bought it from Fix Parts Online. It actually came from Latvia. Uh, took three weeks to get here because of a long delay in Singapore. So here's the new mass airflow sensor with the whole intake pipe and the old one. So I'm going to swap the new for the old now and then reset the uh, check engine light. Okay, so the new mass airflow sensor together with the bat wing is now installed. Okay, so I just run through the diagnostic and clear the check engine light and just make sure that the sensor is working. So it's going to diagnostic. My car, that version. And just going to scroll through to get to ML350 166. 
don't know why the thing is a sedan, so diesel and oops. The one's mine. I know which one I'm scanning, so the ECM. I'm going to read the co code. I've got that. Mass airflow sensor, that one. That one. That one. That one. That one. And now I'm just going to clear the code. Yes. It's done. Now let's read the fog code. Hopefully, there'll be nothing there. No fog code. That's good. And check engine light is also gone. Thanks for watching.